and don't don't let a man live in your house if he doesn't right. provide a house for you. No house. Right, right, right. You know, I get that. No I mean, house, no that. nookie. If you want to overcome your thrills, you got to die yeah. from them, and, right. and so you got to go and face your father. Dana, welcome to the show. You're on the air. Hi, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for calling, Dana. Um, so I guess my question is... Uh, Speak up a little bit for me. Okay. Is this better? Yes. Okay. Um, when I have to forgive my father, do I have to go to him and speak to him, you know, to, like, actually have that, like, exchange of forgiveness? Or can I just, like, do it, uh, you know, within myself or, like, you know what I mean? If you have any anger towards someone, especially your parents, your mother, your father, go right. and forgive them. You got to face them. Right. So, yes, you got to go to him. Right. Um, it, um, you know, it's difficult. Why? Because um, he's, like, very abusive. So, it's... I don't know. Like I'm, I'm not saying I don't think it was like help, but and he's like very ignorant. So I don't know. If it's, <laughs> like I understand it's for me. Like I get, it. I get that. Like you know, and he doesn't have to say anything or do anything. It's just very difficult to talk to him. How old are you? Forty-two. Really? And how is he abusive yeah. at forty-two? I mean, I guess more from like when I was a kid, but I mean, even just like, you know, just even, you know, we're very like close, like, you know what I mean? And, and I know that that's not good for me, but I guess. You say you're very close? Just, well, yeah, like, you know, like my family, like, we're all in each other's lives, we're all in each other's business, like, you know what I mean? It's like. But your family are not close, and if you're afraid to. Right, go, right. If right. you're afraid to go and forgive your mother, your, your family, you're not, you your family are not close. Right. Well, my mom, it's like I mean, your father. I, right. My mom is something that, like, I work on all the time. Like, we, you know, she knows how I feel about her. I think she, you know, when I talk to her, you, you know. You to, forgave to her? her? She, yeah, yeah. What, you did, know, she, what did you say to her? her? What did you say to her when you forgave her? Um, You know, like, I forgive you for being angry all the time and being a drug addict and an alcoholic and, you know. And so why can't yeah. you do that with your father? I'm not sure. Because he was, like, physically abusive, so I don't know if that... Him, he was physically abusive, saying, and so was my brother. So, like, any relationship with a man that I had, even, you know, from a child, it's been terrible, you know? And I have two children, you know, I'm not married to their dad. Uh, he's not involved with us, um... Not, you know, not because of me. I guess it's because of me, right? I'm terrible. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> you have two children, and you're not married to him, and he's no, not involved? No, no. no, no. Does he want That's to be it. involved with his kids? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, because I, I leave it open. I never, you know, I don't, I never took him for anything. And we kind of just had, like, um, like a sexual relationship. For oh. a very long time. Oh, I see. And, okay. You know, he has children with other women also. Oh, okay. He's always been with like multiple women. It's not that we were like together, committed to each other. Right. And but so we lived together. But, oh, I'm sorry. No, go ahead. Finish your point. Well, we lived together, and it was my you know it was my house, and um, he moved in with us. And when me and the girls went like on vacation or something, whatever, he would bring women to the house. So I asked him to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Why would you? <coughs> right. And don't don't let a man live in your house if he doesn't right. provide a house for you. No house. Right. 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 No, I get that. No I mean, house. No that. nookie. Right. Right. I mean, I don't even think about that anymore. I kind of like get like repulsed about like <laughs> not repulsed about sex, but like about lust and stuff and all that. Yeah. Like, I get it now. Like you know, after, right. like, you know, just like how I damaged myself from. Trying to right, like I know I wanted like my father's love, so yeah. I look for it, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's what you're yearning for is the love of your yeah. father. Yeah, and I absolutely like destroyed myself. You know, like just, just terrible. Yeah, 
And, um, you know, I mean, I understand I have to forgive myself and, and all that. Like, I get it. But um, I, I guess I'm more concerned with my children. And you're concerned about your children? Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I In what way? Like, I know it confuses them. Like, because their dad was here and now he's not. How old and are they? I know, um, my oldest is 13 oh, okay. and 11. Oh, okay. Yeah. So do they yeah, ask they, about their father? Um, The older one does sometimes. She just says, like, when do you think I'm going to see him again? But it's, like, very rare. Like, and, I, you know, I, I'm pleasant with him when he, he'll email us, like, and stuff. Like, you know, it's not. And his sister talks to us all the time. But he doesn't. And when he talks to me, it's not that he's talking to me. It's like he just says things like, oh, happy birthday or, you know, it's not anything. Like, he's not talking with me. Right. Communicating with me. He's just, like, saying things to me. I understand. And I feel like if I say, well, you know, you could come, you know, come see the girls, whatever. Like, whatever the case may be, it's always been open. And he's never provided for them ever. Like, he's never put a dollar in my hand for them or to them. Amazing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing, like, to say it, but... I understand. You know? But what and, I want you to know, you have never been yeah. abused. Right, right, right. Your father right. or no one has yeah. ever abused you. Right, right. What, when you say right, what do you mean? Like, I get it, right. Like, I mean, it's not, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> not that I don't get it, like, because, like, I'm not an object, like, it, so if somebody's taking their anger out on me, it's, like, not about me. Right. Right. <laughs> and so the pain you feel, the thing that makes you cry right now is not you either. It's right. just that you have been thinking that it was you, so you've identified with it. But you got to face your father and forgive him. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do. I, 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 you know, like for maybe like the past like ten years, because my my life like changed so much. Yeah, I have been different. You know, like I know that. But um, what do you think would happen yeah. if you went and forgave him? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I know I would be better. I know I would be better. Like, so why I, have I you done it so then? Hard. Why have you done it? I don't know. I just can't get to. I I don't know. It's like when somebody, if somebody like, you know. Like, if you're sitting at a dinner table, right, with your family, you're having dinner, right? Yeah. And you don't want to eat what, what's there. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, you're saying, I don't want to eat this. I don't like this. I don't want it. And then, like, you get hit in the head for not wanting to, you know, be forced to do something you don't want to do. Right. You know what I mean? And not, like, hit, like, oh, just, like, a little tap or something. I mean, like, like hit by a man. It's not... I don't know. I don't know how to get over it. And my brother too, like just very physically abusive, like just you know, just punching me like um nothing, you know. Well, you gotta go and forgive them so you can be free, right? right. And uh, to, yeah. because there's there's never ever 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 a reason to be angry. I don't care what happened to your physical body. Right. There's right. never right. a reason to be angry. Right. Anger right. is evil. This is anger that I'm feeling. I mean, is yeah. it anger that I'm feeling? One hundred percent. Right, right. Like, wh like, what is it? Like, I want, like, rev I, mean, I mean, is it like a revenge type of thing? Like, I'm not sure. Like, oh, well, no. Like, it's just that you love it. You love uh, feeling that way. Right. You love right. complaining about it. You love thinking yeah. about it. It's yeah. your thrill. Yeah. You love the thrill of it, and until you right. stop loving the thrill of it, you're not going to overcome it. When you say, right. when you see, I'm tired of feeling this way, I'm tired of these thoughts, yeah. I'm tired yeah. of the loneliness, I'm tired of the fear, yeah. then you stop loving it and you start to overcome it. Right. And I do the same thing with um, my girl's dad. Like, yeah. I go over everything. Yeah. And, like, I play, like, these little things in my head, like, oh, you know, oh, I should have said this when, when this happened. Or, right. You know, but really, I mean, I was wrong anyway for you know, being involved with the situation to begin with. Like, I get Absolutely. that. You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not like, oh, it's all his fault or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't, uh, I don't see it like that. But you, you know, because I wasn't right anyway. If you want to overcome your thrills, you got to die yeah. from them. And right. 
And so you got to go and face your father. Yeah, I know. It's, it's so difficult. I don't, <laughs> it's, I, I don't know. It's tough. But it's, you, like, you, it's like not no, tough. Like it's him. only tough. It, even, yeah. It's only tough because you're in your yeah. thoughts and emotions right. about it. Yeah. You're yeah. worshiping the devil. Right. Yeah. You know, I don't like him. So it's difficult to go to someone you don't like, right? I mean, I don't know. No, it's just that you you are listening to the devil and you love the idea yeah. of not going, but pretending you want to go and not going. You're too into your thrills. Right. But, yeah, that's true. Because right. you like, know yeah, the way like, out is that you got to forgive your father and your mother, but you're right. not taking it because you like the, your condition. Right, right. And it's so long, right. And it's like to, to change because, like, I'm so lost. Like, right? It's like, oh, I have to go here. I have to do this. I, you know, oh, if I lose weight, I'll be happy. Or if I, you know, learn this, I'll be happy. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just like in circles, like, and nothing's ever, like, getting me, you know, to where I feel like I could be. Like, you know, like you see it, but you, like, how you say, like, you don't know it. Right. Absolutely. And so, are you doing the silent prayer? No, I haven't. You know no. about it? Yeah, yeah, I, lo- I looked it up when I hear you mention it. Why have you given it a try? Uh, I, I'm not really sure. I don't really have an answer. Just, See, I, I told you, you love your hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The last thing you want to let go of is your hell. You love your right. thrills. Yeah, yeah. No, I, you're, you're absolutely right. It's like, um, I, I get it. I, I, I get what you're saying, then, but... I, I don't know it, so, I don't know, it's like I see it, but I, I just don't know. I, I don't even know how I would approach the situation. You would I mean, go I over to him, thing. you yeah. would say, Dad or Father, whatever you call him, I have right. been resenting you all my life because yeah. you were quote-unquote abusive to me. But I realize right. now you can't help yourself. Your father hates his mother as well. He hates your yeah, mother. Yes. He hates yeah. his mother. Yeah. And he hates himself. And that's why right. he was treating you that way. Absolutely. I, and I get that. And you know what I mean? I, I get it. Even though my mom, like, I get it how, you know, what it was like for her, for her parents and growing up. And yes. I, I get, like, I get all that. But it's like, right. Just even having communication and with him is like, it just feels so difficult. But that will all change once you forgive. Right, right. And and also with my children's father, like, how, like, can you give me advice on, like, how to, like, also, like, you know, like, stop, like, stop that, like, um, you know, like that back and forth with him, like, inside of me or... Well, once you, you know, forgive like, your father, you start doing the right. silent prayer, you forgive your mother, right. you forgive your father... Yeah. You're going to yeah. come out of those thoughts about your children's father and the right. conversation we're in, and you yeah. won't hold anything against him. And if you want to come see them, fine. If he doesn't, fine. But right. because you're working on yourself, the yeah. light of God, which is nothing but love, will bring yeah. you out of that situation, too. It will work itself out. Yeah, I, I believe I do. I, I believe that. And it's just... Like, can you like help me understand like it it from like a like a man's perspective, like when men don't like you know like I, I just don't understand how he doesn't want to have a relationship with them. Uh, Is it because of me? Is it because of me? No, it because unless you die deliberately trying to keep him away from them. No, no, no. But, I would never do that to them. But other than them, that, it has nothing to do with you. It's him. Right. 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 And you're not responsible at all for yeah. his action or or and you're not you're not stuck just because he doesn't do anything. I'm right. telling you, I promise you, if you work on you, yeah, if you do the silent prayer, forgive your father and your mother, watch those yeah. thoughts. The love of God, because his love is amazing, it will yeah. save you and it will change your life. Right. I, I mean, you know, my girls, they tell me that they feel um, that, like, I, I mean, I guess I, I speak to them, like, I, you know, like, as openly and truthfully as I can, and I know that they're, like, confused about it, but, you know, they tell me that they feel like I'm, you know, like their mother, and, 
that I've been consistent with them and, you know, they feel cared for and attended to. Like, so is that, like, the right thing? I mean, is it like... But once you forgive, you, know, you got to be guided by love. And, right. and that love will uh, be passed down to the children and they'll be right. flying. And, and when they do ask us about their father, just let them know your father loves you. It's just that he right. got to work on himself. He's just not able to be here right now, but he loves you. Don't be angry at yeah, him. Yeah, right. Right. That's, exa- right. That's exactly what I say. And they say that also. Like, I don't hate him. I just don't know him. Right. That's really what they say. Absolutely. That's yeah. all you need to do. In the meantime, work on you so you can right. overcome evil with good. All right. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you so much. So here's what I recommend. You do the silent prayer. You go and forgive your father. And even if you have to FaceTime with him, you want to be looking at him when you, if possible. If not, if you have no other choice, you can do it by phone. But you want to be looking at him so you can shake in your boots and overcome fear. Right, right. And, and what if I get, like, emotional? Like, is that, like... I mean, That's fine. Is, is it okay? Is yeah, it, right. it's fine. Don't don't control anything. If you right. start boohooing, it's not as running out of your nose. You still yeah. forgive. Yeah. Just let that happen. Don't judge it. Don't judge right. yourself. And, and forgive. I'm sorry, Dad, for resenting you. Yeah. My whole... Yeah, my whole life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, because I, I see it now. It's like... Oh my, I, um, I, like I never wanted to be home. I was always out. I was always with like other people. Like it, it's terrible. But well, like, how, well, how once you forgive about, him, yeah, it's gonna you you would it's gonna be as though you never had a past or future. All right. you will have is right now. You will have a new life. Yeah, and but like from a man's perspective, like how is he like viewing the situation? Like he just hates. Like he just hates us. It, no, he hate everything. He hate his mother. He hate himself. He hate everything. But don't right. worry about him. Right, right. Yeah, you just yeah. work on you and let him stay in his hell because most people love their hell and they don't want to be told you can come out of it. They want to live in it and then they'll drag everybody else in their hell with them if you don't know what they're doing. Yeah. So don't I worry about you. him at all, what he's feeling or what he's thinking because once right. you understand what's driving you, you're going to yeah. clearly understand what's driving everybody else in the whole world. Yeah. You will right. have understanding, and understanding is love. And that's what I'm looking for. Yes. Basically, right? I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, it is what I'm trying to, like, get to. And and everything that I thought was, like, love before, like, you know, from today, you know, before, like, what what is that that I'm it feeling? Was, it was all hate. Right. You have nothing but hate, anger. Yeah. And that emotion you know, that you felt that felt like love is not love, it's hate. And the, right. that, and the emotion you have that felt bad is not yeah. bad, it's hate. It's just all hate. Your heart is wicked right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> even with my, even, <laughs> even with my, my children, it's, I, I, I hate them. Yes. Yeah. That will change if you go and forgive so you can overcome the fallen state. You can overcome thoughts and emotions. Right. And, and do you think that, like, drugs and alcohol, like, keep, you know, keep, like, like, do they, like, contribute to, like, how people treat other people? Like, I mean, is that, like, a big thing? Or? Well, people, uh, when we are in a fallen state, we use yeah. drug, alcohol, sex, uh, right. fear, Food, yeah. uh, yes. judging others, revenge, and all that to try to make ourselves feel better. Yeah. And, but once you start overcoming that, trying to make yourself feel better, those things will fall away because you won't need them anymore. You will have perfect peace. Right. Because my mom is like kind of struggling with alcohol. and Yeah, she hates uh, her mama, so she has no peace. Yeah. And she hates her yeah. father. She hates your father. She hates yeah. everything. Yeah, and, you know, we talk about it a lot, and she hasn't drank, like, um, I think it's going to be, like, almost two months now. We tell her she needs to go and forgive her mother and her father. Yeah, I know. I know we talk about that. And, and what uh, does she say when you tell her she needs to go and forgive her mother? <clears throat> she, she, like, it, she's not against it. Like, she doesn't have as much 
anger as she as she did like a little before. anger a little ang- anger is much yeah. anger yeah. is yeah. anger is like anger it, right right it just doesn't she see, it seems like she wants to like she, it's it's almost like the same way that I feel now the people about, in hell you know, want ice water too <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah. not wanting it. It's going and doing it. You got to do it. it. Yeah. Right. And it's so easy to do other things like, you know, right. Like, smoke, you know, smoke a cigarette or yeah. drink a drink and eat, you know, it, it's so easy to do those things, but to actually go and do something that's, you know, good and good for you and is going to help you. It's like so difficult. I mean, it's only I, difficult I because you won't do it. Once you do it, it would never be difficult again. Well, yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you. Um, you know. So, Dana, if, you got work yeah, to yeah. do. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and I feel like I worked a lot, but like I'm so hard on myself, and it's like I'm doing nothing. Is that is that <laughs> is that true? Uh huh. It's true. Uh, once you, so far. It, yeah. that's right. Once you go and forgive, yeah, you'll just become the watcher of those thoughts and emotions. And yeah. the watcher will solve the problem for you. The one that allows you to see that, which is the father inside of you, he will yeah. get rid of the darkness. Yeah. But you got to do the prayer, relax and let go, and go yeah. and forgive your earthly father. And don't keep telling your mother, if she doesn't work on herself, you don't yeah. want to hear about her problems anymore either. You're not, because she loved complaining about it. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I mean, but I mean, but it could. Could you say that, like, it, like my, not that it's not my dad's fault or anything, but I mean, if she, you're saying that she's never been good, right? Because women aren't. Well, she, right, she but, as a child, she had a good nature, but right, when your mother right. traumatized her, she bec- her nature switched from good to evil. Right. Right. Well, she left. She she left home when she was like. Um, 12 or 13. If I had so, a mother like her, I would have left at 10. Yeah. But my mom's mom, you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah, and, you know, she had, a, a, a like, six brothers and sisters. They're, like, all, um, you know, I like, sold drugs and stuff. My grandfather uh, was in jail for a bit. Like, they were, like, what a mess. Out of their house. Yeah, yeah, it was terrible. So, <clears throat> I mean, like, I can understand, like, but she didn't, like, she didn't get into, like, drugs and alcohol until she was much older. So, you know, even like, you know, I don't know. I, I'm just da- saying like. Daniel, listen, me, I, yeah. I got to run, but let me tell you this. Sure, sure. Take your eyes off your mother. Let her live in her hell. She could die in her hell. You're not your <laughs> not brother's. <that. laughs> Why <are> you say <laughs> that? <laughs> You're not your brother's keeper. And just work yeah. on Dana so that right. you can overcome evil and love will be passed down to the children. The right. Father will guide you. He, he will cause your situations to end, and you'll be fine. But you forget about your mama and all that. Don't, she, leave them in their I, hell. Yeah. That's their, you, know, you notice how God leaves people in their hell until they're ready to come out. Just leave her to hell. It has nothing to do with you, and you move on with your life. Yeah. Yeah. Um, can, I, can I just ask you about your biblical question of the week? I think it was... Are, are, are you, you afraid a, you're yeah. not going to make it? Yeah, make it where? Make it what? <laughs> what? <laughs> That's the question. <laughs> right. Wait, right. Are you afraid you're not going to make it? Make it what? Like, I, that's what I mean. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> That's the question. I can't put what? my two cents in until Sunday. Until Sunday? Yeah. Do you watch our, our fellowship on Sundays? Uh, no, but I will. I mean, I just, like, watch whatever you put on, on YouTube. But Okay, go to uh, rebuildingtheman.com slash church. Okay. You, you got to hear men and women of all races Yeah. with uh, the same issues you're dealing with. Yeah. And so we have three channels. We got Bond, Jesse Lee Peterson, and the Fallen State dot TV. So you can Is go to, the, can she go to yeah. Bond, B-O-N-D? You can go to B-O-N-D, like James Bond, but just Bond. And you'll see the uh, the fellowship there as well. James Bond. 
Yeah. Oh, is that when you're sitting in the like the stool and on yeah, the stage? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I caught a few of those. All right. Oh, okay. Thank you. So yeah, work on yourself. You. Let me know how it goes. I will. Thank you. All it's right. Fine. Thank you. Take care.